time in the jungle. It was a dark and scary night. The story isn't too intense for you, is it, Stewie? Stuart. Oh, I'm not scared. I'm over here because the smoke makes my eyes burn and the fire dries out my skin. How about you, Mo? Getting frightened, big boy? <laughs> Tough crowd. So, on that very scary night, just like this one, a group of animals, just like you two potatoes, hello, were telling stories around the campfire when they heard strange noises. <gasps> what was that? something out there. That's exactly what the animal said on that scary night. And something... <laughs> something unimaginably terrible and horrible and gruesome and humongous and huge and big and large and spine-tingling. It was Cropsy. <laughs> What's a Cropsy? <laughs> What's a Cropsy? Only the biggest, ugliest, smelliest creature to ever hit the jungle. Present company accepted, Mo. What did the evil Cropsy do to those poor, defenseless animals? We can't be sure, Stewie. They were never heard from again. <laughs> this is almost too easy. <laughs> I know it's an old gag, but I just can't resist toying with their frightened little minds. <laughs> that marsupalami. What a kidder. I know Cropsy is just a make-believe character. <laughs> Gee, I've never seen such big footprints before. Oh, no! It can't be! It must be! No, it couldn't be! Oh, yes, it... No, it couldn't! Yes, it could! Oh, it... Oh, it's possible! Cropsy! Yeah, too bad, little doggy. Well, I guess this prank has gone far enough. Almost. Marsupalami! Yeah! Hold me. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're Cropsy! You, 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 you tricked us! It's called a joke, Stewie. That's Stuart! You should be ashamed, scaring me like that! I could have had a, a, a heart failure or a, a rash or a really bad lower back pain! You're always trying to scare me! Well, I've got news for you! I don't scare so easily! <laughs> Only Stewie would be gullible enough to believe in a fictional character like Gropsy. Who are you calling fictional? <laughs> uh, hello, D don't tell me. L l let me guess. Uh, Cropsy? <laughs> oh, uh, very good. Now, now it's my turn. You see, you're yellow, spotted with a long... Interesting tale. Oh, you must be. Uh, late, late. I'm late for a completely made up date. Come over. Yes. See you. No. Is it something I said? I saw him. I saw Grabsy. I saw Grabsy. He was big and tall and immense and not real keen on hygiene, frankly. <laughs> I'm not falling for it, Marsupalami. Like they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me more than several times, shame on me. But I really did see Grabsy. You believe me, don't you, Mo? I'm guessing from past experience, that's a no. Okay, maybe they're right. Maybe I didn't see Cropsy. Maybe it was all in my mind. Oh, I'm losing it. On the other hand. Oh, oh, look who's here. My long-tailed spotted friend. Hooba. <clears throat> Great. Eat me and steal my catchphrase. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I would never eat you. You've been listening to those nasty stories about me, haven't you? Uh, I have heard a few. No, oh, people think I'm mean. I'm just big. I'm not mean. 
What is it they want? Being terminally unique. Such a bummer. Hold on there, terminally unique, tall, dark, and gargantuan one. You don't have to be lonely. My name is Masupalami. Oh, oh, so nice to meet you. I'm Cropsy. There's some friends of mine you gotta meet. Monkeys and elephants, tonight for your storytelling pleasure, the one, the only, Grubsy. Oh, I don't know what you're up to, Marsupalami, but you can't scare me. Now that scares me. Oh, I hope I didn't startle you. <laughs> Excellent. It was a dark and scary night. Just like this, when you see. When a dark shadow fell over the campfire. Anything like that one? Ha, 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 ha.